Hello, how to solve this is 2, 3, prof t, and this equals t, 3, prof 32. We are solving for the value of t that will make this left-hand side of this equation to equal the right-hand side. Now, if you observe very well, there is t here and there is t here. So we can easily move all the variables to one part of this equation, probably this part. So we have to eliminate this t here. So for us to do that, we are going to multiply this exponent by 1 over t. So I have 2 to the power of t. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. And this equals, here I'll do the same thing. This is t to the power of 32. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you consider this identity, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So if you apply this particular identity right here and here, what you are going to have will simply be 2 to the power of t times 1. This is t over t. And this equals t to the power of 32 times 1. This is 32 and we have divided by t. Now at this particular point in time, t over t is 1, so this will cancel out. So what we are having left is simply 2 to the power of 1 and this equals t to the power of 32 divided by t. And remember 2 to the power of 1 is 2. So that being said, if you observe very well, there is 32 here. So what we can do is also to take out this 32 from here and probably take it over here so that the numbers will be in one part, which is this part, and the variable will also be in this part. So what we are going to do now is to eliminate this 32 from here. And for us to achieve that, we multiply this exponent by 1 over 32 again. So we have 2 to the power of this is 1, which is the same thing as 2. So we are going to multiply this by 1 over 32. And this equals t to the power of this is 32 divided by t. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 32. So what we are going to do again is we multiply this out. 32 times 1, 32, t times 32. We multiply that, that, that out. So what we are going to have is 2 to the power of 1 over 32. And this equals t to the power of 32 times 1. That is 32 divided by t times 32. That is 32t. So right now, 32 eliminates 32 here. So what we have left is simply 2 to the power of 1 over 32. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So right now, if you observe very well, we have t here and we have t here, but at the numerator we have only 1. And also, if you come over to this side, what we have is 2 at the base, and this is quite different from the 32 that we have here. So for us to compare and solve this problem, that means the 2 here must be the same as the 32 here. So for us to achieve that, what we are going to do will be to make use of equivalent fractions. And this is how it works. If I have 1 over 32, I can simply express it as 2, that is 1 times 2, that is 2 over 32 times 2, that is 64. Because if 2 cancel itself, 1 cancel 64, I have 32. So let's replace it with here. That means I'm going to have 2 to the power of 2 over 64. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So at this particular point, what I can do will be to factor out these two from the numerator. So I'm going to have 2 to the power of 2 times 1 over 64. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So going by the identity, remember a power n raised to the power n equals a power n times n. Going by this identity, I can simply have 2 to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 64. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So if you observe this right now, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. I have 4 power 1 over 64. 
and this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So, we go over again. Instead of writing 1 over 64, I can simply have it as 1 over 64 equals 1 times 2, that is 2 divided by 64 times 2, 128, right? So, we go by again. I'm simply going to have 4 to the power of 2 over 128, and this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So what I can do right now will be to factor out 2 from here again. So I can simply have it as 4 to the power of 2, and this is raised to the power of 1 over 128, and this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, let's find the value of 4 power 2. We know that 4 to the power of 2 equals that is 4 times 4, and that is 16, right? So we have 16 here. So I'm simply going to have 16 to the power of 1 over 128, and this equals t to the power of 1 over t. 16 is still not the same as 128. So we make use of the same equivalent fraction again. 1 over 128 is the same thing as writing 1 times 2. That is 2 divided by 128 times 2. This is 256. So I replace it here. So I'm simply going to have 16 to the power of 2 over 256 equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now I can factor out these two from here. So what I'm going to have will be 16 to the power of 2 times 1 over 256. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. And if you apply this identity again, a power n times m. And this equals a power n raised to the power of m. By applying this identity right here, I'm simply going to have, this is 16 to the power of 2, and this is raised to the power of 1 over 2 five 6. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, 16 to the power of 2 is simply 16 times 16. And 16 times 16, if you multiply out, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 carry over 3, 6 times 1, 6 plus 3, this is 9, 1 times 6, this is. 6. 1 times 1, we have 1. So, you add up, this should give you 256 because this is 6, this is 15, 5, carry over 1, that is 256. So, you're having 256 raised to the power of 1 over 256, and this equals t raised to the power of 1 over t. So, right now, what I'm going to do again will be to equate because this and this are the same, t and t are the same. So if you have a power 1 over a, and this equals b power 1 over b, that means I can have 1 over a equals 1 over b. If I cross multiply, a times 1, that is a equals b times 1, that is b. So I can do the same thing here. So I can easily have 1 over 2, 5, 6 equals 1 over t. I cross multiply t times 1, that is t, and this equals 2, 5, 6 times 1, that is 2, 56. That is our answer. So the next thing I'm going to do, simply just to insert this particular value of t right into this equation. And let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. So I have check my t equals 2, 5, 6. And the question remains 2 to the power of t equals t to the power 32. And t is 256, so I have 2 to the power 256 equals 256 to the power 32. So what you should know is that 2 to the power 256 is the same thing as 256 is just 2 to the power 8. If you have 2 times 2 times 2 into 8 places, because 2 to the power of 6 is 64, 2 to the power of 7 is 128, so 2 to the power of 8 is 256. 
and you resist this to the power of 32. So what you need to do is multiply this exponent. And this will simply give you 2 to the power of 256 equals 2 to the power of 8 times 32 will give you 256. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This side equals this side. So our answer is obviously very correct. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.